What's going on YouTube? My name is Alex, this is Ask the Cheese Gaming, and I am on a quest to review every single racing game for the Nintendo 64. So in this week's review, let's take a look at the Japanese version of Mario Kart 64. Developed and published by Nintendo with a Japanese release date of December 14th, 1996. Now look, let me just say, what can I possibly say about Mario Kart 64 that hasn't been said before? This game is absolutely a must-own for the Nintendo 64. It is easily top 15 game on the console, arguably top 10. And you could argue that it's either first or second best racing game for the system. I would also like to throw, personally, Extreme G and Wave Race in that category of best racing games for the Nintendo 64. I will say, however, that Mario Kart 64 is the best multiplayer racing game for the Nintendo 64. So, with that all said, is the Japanese version of Mario Kart 64 worth picking up and playing today? Well, first off, absolutely. But, there are a couple minute differences between the Japanese version and its American counterpart. Now to start off, I just want to say that at least from a purely mechanics perspective of this game, in the way that the game handles, the controls, the racing itself, near as I can tell, everything is the exact same. There might be some minor frame data that's a little bit altered, and that I have noticed that a lot of times the speedrunning community tends to opt towards the Japanese version of this game. But, all things considered, just from a hardcore mechanics, it is obviously, you know, mirror images of each other. Now, if you were watching, real quick, we're going to go over a couple of the differences here. Obviously, Toad has a different name. He's Canopio in this game. Also, some of the voice lines for some of the characters, such as Peach, Luigi, and I believe Wario are all slightly tweaked. Some of the names of the courses are also different, such as, for example, the course Moo Moo Farms is now Momo Farms, or Bowser's Castle is now Koopa Castle. So let's run and do a couple races real quick here. So. Obviously, Toad's Turnpike is now Canopio Highway. And if you were watching that first time trial that I did, if you happen to look at some of the banners in the background, some of the banners are also a little bit different. For example, one of the banners in this game says Marlboro, which is a play, obviously, on Marlboro, the cigarette company. Obviously... There was a blue 76 ball in the background, and in the American version, that is actually red. So, like I said, there are a couple minute differences, but all in all, from a strictly mechanics perspective, everything's the same. Some of the music is also slightly tweaked, such as for the example of Bowser's Castle, there's a couple of slightly altered tweaks. And also, a couple of the voice lines, they use some different voice actors in this version that did not come for the Mario Kart 64 American release. But, all in all, still an absolutely solid game. One that I've actually grown to thoroughly enjoy and been playing a ton. And the best part of all is, according to price charting, you could find this game for $25, complete in box, or... For just an individual copy, $9. So, I would say if you could find this game online, say for example for 15 bucks or less, it's well worth picking up, adding your collection today, and you'll be able to enjoy all the wonderful beauty that Mario Kart 64 has to offer. So, thanks for watching everybody, until next time.